Hello everyone. Welcome to ITPK. Today we will learn how we can restrict Outlook on unmanaged devices or on personal devices. If you have seen my previous lecture, I have shown that how we can restrict SharePoint, Teams, OneDrive on unmanaged devices. For example, the user work in office on a corporate device, they have access to everything like SharePoint, Teams, OneDrive or Outlook. They will be able to download attachments. They will be able to download the documents from OneDrive. But when they are at home or any other place on their personal devices or on the device which is not managed by a company, and on unmanaged device they will not be able to download anything any apps including teams onedrive or outlook when they are on unmanaged or personal device they only will be able to use these microsoft application on the web in the browser so if you haven't seen my previous video please must see my this video limit access to web only for sharepoint Teams OneDrive on unmanaged devices. And now I am going to do the same for Microsoft Outlook Exchange. Right? We will allow users to download attachment and log in to Outlook desktop app on only corporate devices or managed devices. The devices which are not managed by the company or not corporate devices or their personal devices they will only be able to use outlook in the browser and they will not be able to download anything from there so please review this video to understand better because we have already created conditional access policies for this and we will just add outlook app into those policies so let's go step by step so that you will understand more better for outlook policy for unmanaged devices we have to run two or three powershell commands so let's open powershell run as administrator okay opening powershell we first have to install the powershell exchange module so that we can connect to exchange first and change the option to read only so let's install powershell module first import module exchange online management so let's first prepare our powershell and install exchange module so that we can connect to exchange i will add all these commands to video description so that you will be able to get these commands now i am installing powershell module hit yes this could take few minutes to install the module again yes now it's installing that package exchange online management after this we will connect to exchange once we connect to exchange we will change powershell yeah, we will change exchange policy to read only and then we will set up the conditional access policy let's try to connect to exchange online exchange install module exchange online let's let's Set, set execution policy yes let's go to next command you can also review by this video to install the same online module right so that we can connect to exchange okay yes again so let's go ahead and uh, try to connect to exchange online now where powershell that's great now you have to put the global administrator credentials here the global administrator okay so now it's connecting me to exchange online so once we connected to exchange online we will try to run the command to make outlook for exchange mailboxes read only first so looks like we are connected to exchange online let's clear the screen if you have any problem in installing uh, exchange online module for powershell you can review my this video how to set up powershell module to connect to exchange online 
So now we are connected. Let's check if the read only feature has been turned on in our Outlook. So it's showing it's turned off and conditional access feature is also turned off, right? For our exchange. For a, for for conditional access policy. There are no conditional access policy defined for exchange. So let's make conditional access policy to read only for exchange. Let me paste the command. Okay. We have successfully ran this command that set our mailbox policy to read only. Let's run this command again and see the status. Right, that should be read only. Okay. See, now the conditional access policy for our exchange is read only. All right, that will not allow unmanaged devices to download any attachments or any data from users' Outlook. So now we are done with PowerShell and let's go to conditional access and set up that policy for Outlook mailboxes what we have set up for our SharePoint earlier in the recent video. So let's go there. Let's refresh. I am in Microsoft Entirety and then conditional access policies here. Okay. So SharePoint, these two policy and we just need to add our exchange application here besides our sharepoint application so all all the policy will remain the same so we have previously set up uh, the first policy that block application on on many devices this policy was for sharepoint and we can use this policies also for our exchange let's change the title so that we would understand better. The next option is that what which of the users needs to be included here. So you can add the group and you can also exclude the group according to your requirement. The main point in the target resources is that we have already added SharePoint here, right? So <clears throat> what we will do, we will click here and we will add exchange online because we want same policy to be applied for exchange as well as for sharepoint for unmanaged devices so let's find exchange here here you go we will add office 365 exchange online application to our this conditional access policy that user will not be able to get outlook application on the unmanaged or personal devices so let's go to the next option in the conditions i will not change any option here i will just i am showing you to for your confirmation so in the clients app we have selected mobile app and desktop clients that's done target resources yeah these are two grant access and let's see the condition yeah we already have seen the conditions here let's see the grant access so there are two conditions that device must be marked as compliant to access outlook team or any application that we have restricted by conditional access or the device must be microsoft Entra hybrid joint device and we need any of these requirement to be completed to get user login into the application on the compliant devices but on the non-compliant devices they will not be able to log in it's safe let's go to the second policy where we will control the browser behavior that user will be able to access all these applications only on the web in the browser on unmanaged devices. Let's also name this policy for our understanding. Again, specific user included 
we only have to change target resources app here right so let's also add here exchange online yeah it's safe in the condition let me show you client apps here we are targeting browser right on unmanaged devices we are giving access only in the browser and nothing could be downloaded from the browser right we don't have to change anything else in the ground but in the session make sure use app in for restriction is selected here it's select it's safe that's it so previously we have defined the policy for sharepoint and we just did a powershell first make our exchange read only right and we have added specific groups here in the policy we have renamed it sharepoint and exchange and then we allow users only to access outlook onedrive teams on the browser when they are on unmanaged device right we have limited their access to only web but on the corporate devices the devices that are in tune join they will be able to log in all these application exchange sharepoint on uh, teams because their corporate devices are compliance to the company policies again i have gathered some screenshots right to show you that when user will log in in the browser on unmanaged device the device that is not compliance or joined to the company domain user will see these caution in the outlook your organization doesn't allow you to download print attachment from this device or browser you can still view attachment in your browser for more information contact it administrator so when they are on personal device they will be getting these cautions on their devices right if they log in into the browser they will not be able to download anything if you see here that word file it don't have the download option also i have shown you the caution above and if they try to log in into any application like onedrive teams microsoft exchange they will be getting uh, these caution that your device is not compliance right so that that's why you are not able to log in into any application and make sure you have reviewed my last video that was related to sharepoint because once you have reviewed my this video sharepoint video and exchange video then you will be all set to secure your company secure your organization on these basic microsoft apps teams onedrive outlook hopefully you enjoyed this to the point video and hopefully this video will be very helpful for you thanks for watching keep watching keep commenting and don't forget to subscribe take care bye